Hey, welcome to this edition of 90 Seconds of Freedom. My name's Paul and together with my wife Jeannie, we're lead pastors here at Icon Church. We're on this 40 Days of Freedom journey, really believing that as we've taken this journey together and continue to take this journey together, that actually we'll find freedom, the freedom that God wants to give to us. Today, I want to share a thought from 3 John and verse 2. It's a strange reference because there's only one chapter in 3 John. So 3 John 2, and it says this, Paul is writing, sorry, John is writing to his friend Gaius, who's an elder in the church. And he says, uh, beloved, I wish that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. I don't know if you've ever thought about this idea that your soul can prosper. And I believe, you know, it's so important for us to consider that today because sometimes we find in our life, there are other areas of our life, could be our health, our finance, uh, our mind, where actually we're not prospering in that moment. But actually John writes to Gaius and he says, your soul prospers. And now my prayer is that every other area of your life will prosper as well. You see, this verse tells us that change and the work of God happens from the inside out. That the first thing that God does is cause our soul to be refreshed, revived and renewed and therefore to prosper. My prayer for us today is that we will be a people who have that inner world prospering, that inner voice being healthy and being alive. And so in a moment I'm going to pray, but I want you to consider today, is my soul prospering? Your soul is the real you, the essence, who you really are and that can prosper, whatever circumstances, whatever else is going on. So let's pray together. Lord, I ask today that we will be a people who know that transformation, that prosperity that comes into our lives from the inside out, that whatever our circumstances, whatever we're going through, we will know the prosperity that you have for us in our soul, the health you have for us in our inner world. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Don't forget to look out for Monday's edition of 90 Seconds of Freedom. We're still on this 40 days of freedom journey together. And I'm believing that we're going to experience freedom in our lives in the future like never before.